Hi everyone, thank you, thank you for staying with me whilst I took a break. So last year I posted to say I was really annoyed of being in TikTok jail, not being circulated because I wasn't doing enough videos and being their slave and just following their rules and doing everything they wanted me to do because of course I have no life and I'm just here to please TikTok. Um, and that is my you know, annoyance with TikTok and their algorithms that they keep changing and I've just had enough of them. I am also not really into marketing. I don't really have a skill set for that. It's not my passion. I'm a writer. I just want to hide in a little house that Bilbo Baggins would live in and just go out with my cats and dogs now and then and then come back and write some more and not talk to anybody for about five years and just meditate and do yoga and then go out with cats and dogs again. And that's all I really want to do. But if I do that, then I won't ever sell any books and I will never be able to carry on with my passion of writing. And <laughs> so life doesn't work like that. So I understand that. And I like doing videos. I like engaging with everybody. And it's really nice hearing, hearing your feedback and how you're enjoying the books and the stories or my word of the day videos. And I can't thank you enough for that. And I am enjoying that side of it. You're making this marketing really bearable for me by doing that. Otherwise, it is just so not my thing. Um, but I don't like being pressurised into doing lots of videos at certain times by TikTok and other places. So what I'm going to do now is start afresh, but have more boundary settings so that I'm not their skivvy. Um, and also, you know, because I, I do work full time, I'm a single parent. I have my children and I have 14 cats and dogs. Uh, so I'm a little bit busy and that is just like one part of my life i still have all the housework the gardening the yoga the meditation socializing which would be nice now and then um and i have all these different things that i want to do and of course i love my writing and i have to do the marketing to go with the writing and i also want to do a lot of holistic things and talk about health and anxiety and things like that that make us all feel better what I'm therefore going to do is a series of lives and videos. And if you miss any of the lives, you can catch my YouTube channel. And I'm going to start going more into these. So, for example, last year I was really unwell, which is why I took a break. I needed time to heal. Now, I love energy healing. And if you read my books, there's a lot of energy healing in there. And it's just like in Star Wars with being at one with the force, being at one with the source. Um, we are connected to everything around us. Uh, if you've seen Oppenheimer or uh, a lot of the scientific movies nowadays are showing you the connection between physics, energy and quantum mechanics and all these different things. They all just merge together. Now, uh, as a business analyst and a program project manager, I have a very analytical mind. So I need to have science behind everything I believe in. And there is a lot of that. You just have to spend a lot of time learning about it in order to see it. When we talk about energy healing to people, most people just go, yeah, right, whatever. I can't see it. It's not there. However, if you're in a home and you want to connect your phone or your laptop to a Wi-Fi, you can't see the Wi-Fi, but you know it's there. You know if you say, hey, I'm going to connect, ding, then you're connected, but you don't see it. Energy work is exactly the same. So if you've read my books, you would have picked up on some of these things. Um, but I'm really grateful for my energy healing, especially at the moment, because last year I was so ill that last spring all my hair fell out. And that was devastating for me. Um, I think any woman who has her hair falling out is going to be a little bit devastated. My brother and my husband, ex-husband, lost their hair very, very young and went really bald all on the top. And it was devastating for them too. So our hair is a very big part of our self. And although I did a lot of... Uh, you know meditations and gratifications and saying I am not my hair <laughs> you know, it's, it was still a bit upsetting so thankfully because of the gifts that I have I have been able to fully heal without medication and get rid of a lot of these things I'm just starting to bounce back now which is why I'm grateful because I have suffered with a lot of health issues over my life I've had PCOS endometriosis um, and a lot of other things I won't go into so um, I think the those two and anemia are the three things that really make my life hard. So I'm not going to push myself this time. So I'm going to do a word a day, but once a week. I'm going to do a live once a week. And I'm going to do 
one or two videos so there'll be something posted three or four times a week on a regular basis and we've got a lot of exciting things coming up now so some of the things i'm going to do is talk about um the orange express that's coming soon and where is it oh i have to get it in a moment and my recent trip to glastonbury why did i go to glastonbury hmm i wonder why would the children of pisces take me to glastonbury there is a reason and you're gonna have to wait to find out why and um i have the mother daughter journal coming together for me and my daughter we go to the orange express this august so that's finally come around I'm um, really looking forward to that. For those who don't know, my daughter narrated all my audio books for this series. So she is doing the um, Orient Express as her payment because that was her wish. She wanted memories. Bless her. She's uh, very much my kind of person. Um, what else? I did have a list. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I'm bringing out a new website. So you have to keep your eyes open for the new website. Oh, and on that, I'm updating some illustrations and covers. So we have some really really exciting things that i'm going to break down and come out with in a bit of um smaller videos but i am bringing out book four in august it's going to launch at the world um scientific convention in glasgow and this is where you meet my chewbacca my upright dog friend and you're gonna love her so yeah, it's my female version of Chewbacca and she is based on a husky and guess whose husky she's based on? Yeah, that would be mine, my little girly. Um, so yeah, my husky is a character in my book in book four and she is a warrior. So she fights and my illustrator is doing this big, beautiful photo of her and it's going to be so nice. and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, book four comes out. The covers are coming out. We have the book cover reveal for book four which will be done at the Birmingham convention um the sci-fi it's Easter con but it's called Leviton this uh, Levitation this year uh so that is the Birmingham science fiction convention and we'll do the cover reveal for book four there and I'm not going to give you anything else away at this point because I'll leave them to other videos so I just wanted to say really big thank you for supporting me staying with me and i am quite excited for the year ahead this is going to be a really exciting year now so i'm going to do lots of giveaways lots of competitions and i hope to get to see you at the conventions because we're going a bit convention crazy this year and the cost of living is horrendous at the moment i don't know about you but i'm really struggling to feed all the animals and my kids and my son is going to the gym and he's getting huge now and he's just eating so much because he needs all this protein and meat in order to do his weight training. Like, can't you just be a little ninja or something and just live on gruel? You know, it's cheaper. So it would have been nice. Um, so, no, I just think everything is so expensive. And um, so it's a really big luxury and treat for me to take my daughter on the Orient Express. And we are going to take people with us on that because... We are both writing a novel based on our experience and travels on the Orient Express, which you can read in our Mother Daughter Journal, which is going to be me bringing sci-fi onto the Orient Express. And I've been asked to write about that in the British Science Fiction Association magazine this summer. So if you want to learn more about that, you'll have to su subscribe and support them. So love to you all and I'll do more videos shortly. Take care.